Now, viewers, let's talk about what's happening in West Asia as far as the Israel-Hamas war is concerned. Because since the war with Hamas began on October 7th, many international airlines have halted, restarted and halted again into Israel's main gateway to the rest of the world. But Fly Dubai, another major airline, the sister airline to the long-haul carrier Emirates and Abu Dhabi's Etihad have kept up multiple flights every single day and have kept Israel connected to the wider world even as its other low-cost competitors have stopped flights. Here's a report on why. The Israel-Hamas war has been going on for more than a year. Many international airlines have halted, restarted and halted again their flights into Israel's main gateway to the rest of the world. Amongst them are Atlanta-based Delta Airlines Inc., Germany's Lufthansa and others. While some of the flights resumed, only to stop again after Iran's October 1 ballistic missile attack and Israel's October 26 retaliatory strike on the Islamic Republic. But Fly Dubai, the sister airline to the long-haul carrier Emirates and Abu Dhabi's Etihad have kept Israel connected to the wider world. These airlines demonstrate their refusal to be intimidated by neighboring Arab countries at war with them. I think they uh, want to, uh, to show that they are not afraid uh, from the Arab countries that are uh, at war with us. And they, um, that's it. I think they, they, they are uh, more uh, obliged to, to peace in the, in the area. Amidst all this, Israel's national carrier Al Al has gained a massive business advantage. The airline recorded $227 million profit as compared to $58 million profit in the same period last year. Fly Dubai had 3.6% market share at Ben Gurun, compared to El Al's 43.2% in the second half of 2024. These flights serve as a symbol of peace. The flying of the Emirates and other uh, flying, flying uh, companies is a, a symbol that uh, the Emirates countries decided to keep the peace. While on one side, airlines avoid Israel due to its long decade war. We see UAE's Fly Dubai and Etihad still continue flights for both the diplomatic and financial reasons. Now on the war front viewers, the Israeli Defense Forces launched a dozen of intense airstrikes on southern suburbs of Lebanon's capital Beirut. The airstrike hit more buildings and also set off explosions in the Dahiye area. Meanwhile, Iran has expressed support for any decision made by Lebanon in its efforts to secure a ceasefire with Israel. The Israeli military kept up its heavy bombardment of a once densely populated area adjoining Beirut on Friday. The airstrikes on the Dahiya in the Lebanese capital where the terrorist group Hezbollah holds sway. Visuals from the strike captures a falling projectile slamming into a building which erupts in a huge fireball, causing the structure to collapse. Just after the dawn, the Israeli military issued fresh evacuation warnings and the bombardment began soon afterward. Meanwhile, Iranian top advisor visited Lebanon for talks. Iran has expressed support for any decision made by Lebanon in its efforts to secure a ceasefire with Israel. An Iranian official said that he hoped circumstances would soon improve in Lebanon so that displaced people could return home. According to Lebanon's media, it was reported that the U.S. ambassador to Lebanon has handed over a draft of proposed deal to end the Israel-Hezbollah war. 
Trump, who officially assumes office in January next year, continues to signal his willingness to support a ceasefire. However, the final responsibility for the negotiations remains with the current administration.